Hello friends. One question, one query people often ask is what is spirituality? It is a very very simple question which is very difficult to explain in simple words. Yet if I want to explain in simple words, let me make a humble attempt to explain this. Our eyes, nose, ears, mouth, hands, these are karmendriyas or senses. We smell from nose, speak from our mouth, right? We speak with our tongue, we chew with our teeth, hear with our ears and work with our hands like making food or some other work, right? These are called senses and senses shows us the outside world and gets the work done. If we do not listen, then how can we respond? Correct? That's why it is called senses. And we see the outside world through these senses or karmendriyas. Right? We can see things around us and we can also participate. Am I right? But to walk on the path of spirituality, we have to see within ourself. Yes, ourself. We have to experience the joy of divinity. And as and when you experience divine joy, that is called spirituality. Now, what is this divine joy? Let me explain. If you're going to a school, right? And if you spot a handicapped person crossing the road and you see them and then you decide to go and help them. And when you hold their hand to support them, right? And when you help them cross the road, the happiness and joy which you experience then, that is divine joy. When we offer water to a thirsty person or if we offer food to a hungry person, then the kind of joy which we experience, that experience is divine joy. And that divine joy is spiritualism. Am I clear? If you are not spiritual, then you can't do these kind of acts. When a person is spiritual, he can know from his own experience that he is the owner of his own happiness. It is called spiritual joy. Did you get it? Most of our maximum knowledge is physical. And from that, we aspire to supreme happiness. Right? So if you are going to sit in AC, then you feel nice. But this is physical pleasure. Now, when we go in nature and you sit under a shady tree or near a river, then that is nature's joy and it is ultimate happiness. And that is not physical pleasure. Can you make out the difference? When you start questioning yourself with your eyes closed that who am I? The name which you are carrying has been given by your father, mother or your auntie. But when you peep within yourself to check who are you, to recognize this I within you, this is the first step to move towards spirituality by acquiring knowledge. Now, some people, they start walking on the path of religion. They follow the teachings in the religious books and they like to believe that they are extremely spiritual. Yes, friends, but it's not so simple. Religion is what helps us identify the difference between good and bad deeds and to identify them. So, we have to leave the bad deeds and we have to decide to do good deeds. That is religion. But in spirituality, there is no need to acquire anything or give up on anything. In spirituality, birth, life and death are absolutely natural processes, which is a destiny of the universe, which is bound to happen. I mean, when a person is born, right? A person being very prosperous, 
having lots of property or someone is a middle class or death of a person this is destiny this is an eventuality so for the universe this is just destiny this is going to happen the whole of our life we tend to collect materialistic things right like uh, a person starts going for work or maybe he starts his own business then he decides to buy a small house then he takes a bigger house a bigger plot his wants and desires keep on increasing he gets busy in collecting all the materialistic things and what we do is we keep on doing this the whole life right see you have to look around everywhere this is what is happening and finally when we die right how much have a prosperity which we have how many properties we have how many materialistic things we have we have cars aeroplanes but finally when we die we cannot carry any materialistic thing with us i will give you an example friends if a man is alive you give him 1 crore rupees by putting it in the bag right or give him bundles of notes he will take it immediately right if you give him gold biscuits he will take it because he has it in his heart to collect materialistic things but when a person dies and you put crores of rupees in front of him keep 50 gold biscuits in front of him he won't even move an inch nor see it friends why because he is dead his consciousness is gone soul has already left it's just the body that's it that is why a man cannot take anything with him while leaving this world please understand you taking birth and you leaving this world it is not happening as per our will and neither do we know the time of our arrival and departure does anyone know that when is he going to die do you know that when your next birth is going to happen then who is this entity who is controlling and who has made this arrangement knowing that entity is spiritualism if you fail to know this power your life is meaningless pointless spiritualism is that lamp that light that flame which helps the human being to get out of darkness of ignorance and walk on the path of knowledge on the path of light asatoma sadgamaya tamasoma jyotirgamaya mrityurma amrutam gamaya lead us from darkness to light lead us from dark ignorance to light take the path of knowledge and through the passage of death provide us nectar this journey from darkness to light is spiritualism no one in the world can teach you no one can make you spiritual you have to learn everything from within and there is no better teacher than your own soul these are the thoughts of the great philosopher scholar eloquent orator saint and spiritual guru swami vivekanand who is not only famous in india but because of his words and thoughts he is famous across the world he grew up in a religious family and he started studying and analyzing many religious books after which his knowledge led him to question the very existence of god almighty he approached guru devendranath with his questions but he could not get satisfactory answers to his spiritual questions and queries friends vivekanand ji had many questions going on in his mind and during his spiritual crisis he heard for the first time from the principal of scottish church college william hasty about shri ramakrishna paramahamsa ji finally he met ramakrishna paramahamsa ji at dakshineshwar kali temple and vivekanand asked him a simple question Have you ever seen God? 
he had asked this simple question to many spiritual masters but he was not getting a satisfactory answer but when he asked this question to ramkrishna paramahamsa ji he gave such a simple and a beautiful answer yes vivekanand i can see god as clearly as i can see you wow that's it and then vivekanand started going to dakshineshwar temple where he got all the answers to his many questions arising in his mind when vivekanand's father passed into ages the whole family was facing financial and monetary crisis he went to swami ramakrishna paramahamsa and asked him to pray for his family's wealth and well-being but shri ramakrishna paramahamsa ji refused and told vivekanand that he should pray in front of goddess kali himself so vivekanand ji went to kali mata's temple to ask for wealth and riches but while praying for wealth and riches unknowingly he kept on repeating for renunciation for knowledge vivekanand was himself surprised that why is this happening he again tried to pray for wealth and riches but besides knowledge and renunciation he couldn't ask for anything from kali mata because he had spent so much time with swami ramakrishna paramahamsa that within him kind of spiritual power had awakened after this he walked on the path of ascetic life that was swami vivekanand so children you need to start yoga and meditation from a young age the best time for meditation is brahma muhurt brahma muhurt means early morning 4 o'clock if you wake up at this time and start your day with yoga and meditation then your entire day will be full of energy remember if you can manage for a few minutes start doing meditation and yoga then it will be an icing on the cake because meditation is the only path the one and only path that leads to spirituality and spiritualism so every day get up at 4 o'clock and do yoga and meditation you will do it right <laughs> thank you